fortunate to Riahe Kayo, always dreamed she'd grow old alongside her husband Enoch here at their family home in southwestern Uganda. But the reality is almost too sad for her to share with us. Malaria killed him. He was a loving father and he always took good care of the family. Sometimes after work he would bring gifts home for the children. Fortunate clears the weeds from Enoch's grave. She says there was no malaria here when she was a girl and she doesn't understand why it's here now. Here up in the highlands of southwestern Uganda it's actually quite cool for a lot of the time. As you can see it gets quite misty in the mornings and this climate's not favourable for the malaria parasite or for the mosquitoes that carry it. But people that live here say they're getting bitten by mosquitoes more and more and that malaria is becoming more common. This is the hospital where Enoch died. There's a steady flow of malaria patients. The medics also say it's on the rise. Uganda's malaria experts believe it's because of global warming. The highland areas, which we are not experiencing uh, burden of malaria, are increasingly uh, being affected by malaria because of the climate change. And uh, because these people are not immune to malaria compared to the general pub public that is exposed, um, when they get malaria, they get more severe malaria compared to the general public. The ecosystem up in this hilltop region is fragile and it's easily affected by human activity. The relationship between climate and malaria is complex and not yet fully understood. But people here know that something's changed when they see relatives get sick and die. Fortunate's never heard of the UN Climate Change Conference. But she asked us, how can it help her now? Nothing will bring Enoch back to her and her children. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kabale in southwestern Uganda.